something that you're not going to be able to possibly conceive your own child or to have a baby. Obviously, that's a big that's a big burden. About halfway through endometriosis, the the stage and the position that you get to is a very you can make you be at a very selfish stage because you know as a woman she still wants the motherhood she still wants to to mother a child and she still wants to conceive so you know as a mother you're going to do everything you can possibly do to still give your body that chance um and for me on the outside looking in you know i'd have my points in my times where you know this isn't fair to me you know i'm not the one in pain and i'm the one suffering um, you know, I want a child and you can't produce it for me. Um, I became bitter at him about it. Um, I just remember a time when I felt at my complete lowest in my life. Uh, you know, I had many of those thoughts. I had many times where, you know, I just kind of was numb to everything and I just kind of gave up with giving my marriage effort because you'll never complete me as a man. You'll never physically, emotionally be there and you can't give me that child. And even from Danny, I mean, he, he's seen it, but he, you know, it's, I think you look at people and think, how can they really be in that much pain um, for something like this? times in our marriage where we both wanted to give up. We both said it's not worth it. The pain, the money, the the, the difficulties, the uh, not being able to conceive. What are we doing? We can't even complete a family. You know, we can't even complete a family. We can't complete a marriage. Uh, we have nothing but turmoil and uh, it's, it's so tasking it's not worth it anymore. Not only am I causing a strain on our marriage because of pain and not being um, at complete one with my husband, I'm also um, racking up all these bills that I can't, I, I don't know, I, I just, it really caused a big, big issue in our, in our marriage. We've walked through this for five years. We really wanted our own child. And, and just to be honest, I, I really wanted, I wanted my own child. I, I thought adoption was a really neat thing, but honestly, it, it just, it wasn't meant for me. wanted to give the baby up for adoption to a Christian home and wanted to give that baby to a family that couldn't conceive. And he started to talk about the biological father and this is what he told us. He looked at us and he told us that the biological father wanted to abort the baby. To see the effect already of this baby that hadn't been born, of his story that he knew that this was God just, just clearing the path for us. God just sealing exactly what his promises were to us and exactly how he wanted this process to go. It was completely life-changing just to see how much that you can love a child that you don't necessarily give birth to. And, and at that exact moment, God just came down in our lives and showed us the most redemptive love that God could. The word of the Lord came to me, what do you see, Jeremiah? And Jeremiah said, I see the branch of an almond tree.